Court call. Court call. There is little to look forward to. Once you're in Cook County Jail, you condemn. There is little to change the mind-numbing routine. Of course, the study just continue, continue, continue. You know, I wish they'd do something because I'm tired of sitting here. This is Division 9, a maximum security unit home to accused murderers, rapists, and drug dealers. Anything so bad, somebody walk up to you and shank you. It is so overcrowded, many men sleep three to a cell, with one man bunking on the floor right next to the toilet. It's hell. They treat us like we got civilized in here. The sprawling Cook County Jail complex is the largest of its kind in the nation. A dozen buildings house more than 10,000 inmates on any given day. It took a stooge man to invent this place. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the inmates here are accused of crimes, but not convicted. As the courts have slowed down in recent years, it's led to longer stays at the jail. Two Skokies. Every weekday, a thousand men and women are shuttled back and forth to court appearances across the county. Tension is a fact of life. Being locked up is not a natural state. It is not a, uh, um, something that a person should accept as a way of life. Prisoners have a laundry list of complaints about the conditions in which they're housed. They range from bad food to violence at the hands of other inmates and correctional officers. The majority of violence, though, occurs between inmates. But those who analyze jail conditions say some of the unrest has to be expected. You get the young and the old, the weak and the strong, good officers and bad. Um, but given what they have to do out there and processing 100,000 people a year and caring for 10,000 on a given day, it's a pretty amazing place. Amazing is not the word most inmates would use to describe this place. I wouldn't even wish this on my worst enemy and anybody. Think about what you do first before you, uh, before you do it, really. You know, you come in here and things, your whole life changes. Cramped quarters and the threat of violence plague the jail, conditions that can reinforce the only family that truly thrives in a place like this. The only family some inmates know, their gang. A few years from now, I'll turn my back on everything, you know what I'm saying, walk away from it, because I'll learn, I'll be older. So I'll learn from all the older guys in here that been through what I've been through. But for right now, you know, I'm still, you know, still a little wet behind the ears. I'm just running with the pack. Ellie Montgomery is looking for a victory of her own. She's been trying to understand the method to Anthony Adams' madness. After researching his gang history, Ellie thinks she's solved the puzzle. Adams arrived in Cook County Jail as a member of the new breed black gangsters. Ellie believes he changed his allegiance to a gang called ATG, or Against the Grain. There's a lot of people after him. He switched gangs, and he has a lot of fear that someone's going to kill him. It's a legitimate fear. <laughs> Amazingly, all this time, Adam's misbehavior may have been a ruse to keep him in the safest place possible, the high security level system. He's not going to leave Supermax level four. That's one of the safest places to be. How are people going to do a hit on him in level four? After 450 days of macing, cell fires, and floods, Adams cops a plea and is headed to prison. He feels it was his only option. I feel I was railroaded in this case. I get you no know, pissed off, and you keep pushing me, I'm on the verge of exploding. Adams will be shipped off to Stateville Prison, 50 miles south of Chicago, to serve his six-year sentence for robbery.